Chers auditeurs, Dear listeners, bonjour. Welcome in Comme d'Archi Podcast Season 3. Saison 3 dans le monde fascinant des architectes. And in the architectural projects. Je suis Anne-Charlotte de Ponte, passionnée d'architecture et docteur des universités en histoire de l'archi. I am one of the spokespersons of Anne Charlotte, who is a PhD in architecture history. Merci. Thank you. D'être avec moi aujourd'hui. To be with us today. Et and maintenant, now, lundi en français, place au talent. And Wednesday, let's talk projects. In English, of course. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Dear listeners, good morning. This is Esther on behalf of Anne Charlotte. It's good to meet you again in season 3 of Comme d'Archi, episode 45, with the text of Re-Room, special mention of European 16 competition with the Quimper site in France. Introduction, presentation. Our team is composed of the association of the Re-Room Architect Agency, represented by its two founding architects, Claire Roy and Adélie Collard, and Elisabeth Boucher, also an architect, who acts in her own name. Claire and Elisabeth worked together at the Agence Philippe Fichet Architect in Paris. Claire and Adélie studied and graduated together from the École Nationale Supérieure d'Architecture de Lyon in 2012. In 2021, they founded the Reroom Agency together, to which Elisabeth regularly contributes her skills in urban planning and landscape design. All three of us like to respond to calls for competition to reflect together on future issues and themes that feed our respective practices. About the project, Topic 16. European Session 16 was entitled Living Cities, Metabolic Vitalities and Inclusive Vitalities. The notion of living city refers to the notions of environment, evolution and adaptation. Living things are characterized by movement in time and space. Our project is defined according to this first entry, according to three temporalities specific to the site the tide, the unstable time linked to climatic hazards, the day, the short and recurrent time of daily life, the seasons, the time of human and natural constructions. These cycles translate the constant dynamics of the living city. Its uses are multiple and evolving. The constructions, plantations and paths create links between the districts and the topography. The natural spaces communicate with each other through the movement of water and the interaction of biotopes. The site. Quimper is a confluence. Founded in the Neolithic period at the junction of four rivers, the history of the city is closely linked to its particular geography. The districts of Loc Maria and Rose Maria form a project site marked by the interweaving of anthropic and natural frameworks. The river Ode. Mount Frugy and the departmental road are juxtaposed without communicating with each other, creating mutual obstacles. The imprint of these natural frameworks omnipresent in the construction of the city constitute the essential structure of the project. Door, Kaut, Ker. Water, Wood, City. The Project In response to the competition, we propose a vision for Quimper of a neighborhood that is aware of its natural rhythms. Spatial, temporal and usage continuities are created between the river, the wood and human mobility. The Rosemaria district will be the starting point for a dynamic integration of nature in the city, a start towards a more resilient and attractive urban space. Answer. Time. We identify three temporalities on the site which become as many axes of intervention. 24 hours, the day. Due to the attractiveness of the Breton coast, Quimper is characterized by significant commuting flows. A large proportion of the population travels by car from the suburbs to the tertiary zones around the city. The car and the road infrastructure take up a considerable amount of space in the city, with a lot of parking and wide roads leading to the city centre. The bowl-shaped relief of the city accentuates the effect of obstacles, especially in Rose Maria, with the presence of retaining walls, blocking views and connections. 8,760 hours. The seasons. Quimper, close to the tourist areas of South Finisterre, has a particular seasonal temporality with intensified visits in summer. 
The seasons are also experienced through the wooded areas and the many gardens typical of the Breton picturesque. The oceanic climate, which is favorable to the development of vegetation, guarantees high rainfall and mild temperatures throughout the year. 6 hours, the tides. From its estuary to Quimper, the Haute is animated by the movement of the tides, which contributes to the particularity of its banks. The progressive urbanization of the town has increased the number of crossings of the river, which are obstacles to the navigation of large sailing ships. The river is also canalized, reducing the city's resilience to flooding. Echoing these inputs of temporal understanding of the site, our proposal is articulated in three project phases. Gorekat, slow down, political time and prefiguration. The Rosmaria district, bordered by the main road, is today a place of passage rather than a destination. The curve of the infrastructure accentuates the kinetics of the road. The car dominates all public space to the detriment of soft mobility, which is often in danger. Slowing down cars is the first necessary intervention to restore a balance between the different uses of mobility. It is a question of transforming the obstacle of the departmental road into meeting places that support new creative and resilient public spaces. To trigger the transformation of the road into a street, three crossings are planned on the main road. Each of them draws a new public space in connection with an existing building that has been redesigned. At the same time, the existing buildings of Rosemaria are reinvested. Their temporary occupation allows the prefiguration of new activities on the site and the opening up to public consultation. A circular economy approach is being implemented on the site so that all the buildings that cannot be kept are deconstructed and reused in a reasonable manner. The manor house becomes the project house. It is a place of exchange on the project under construction and of learning about the site's heritage. The aim is to understand each other in order to better discuss and develop the project with the inhabitants. The garden opens onto the public space. Openings are made to create terraces towards the Ode. The opaque evergreen hedges are gradually replaced by more transparent deciduous vegetation to follow the rhythm of the seasons. This urban activation phase will be the opportunity to test the road modifications and to carry out traffic studies in order to adapt the project to the realities. The areas of roadway freed from traffic are an opportunity for new uses along the lanes. The parklet system frees up the road spaces reserved for parking for a transition to shared public spaces open to appropriation as an extension of the pedestrian walkways. The calming of the traffic and its de high hierarchization allow the opening up of the site and a better porosity. Anasan, leaving, architectural time and construction. In a second phase, the calm district can accommodate a more permanent program. Through its attractiveness and resilience, the site is designed as a new center to complement the historic heart of Quimper. The reconfiguration of the Rosemaria site is an opportunity to create a dynamic neighborhood for younger residents, attracted by a city life while remaining close to rural and natural amenities. The former offices at the entrance to the site are being converted into housing, while the ground floor is being opened up to accommodate temporary occupations and sales outlets. The existing crèche is partially demolished to be raised and transformed into co-working spaces on the upper floors. An AMA prelay and a recycling center are located on the ground floor. A program of new housing inscribed in the slope of Montfrugy makes it possible to offer contemporary housing adapted to these new lifestyles. The manor house is dedicated to services related to housing and living. It hosts common areas for residents, including a concierge service, shared guest rooms and a parent's crèche. Parking is concentrated at the entrance to the site so that the neighborhood can be used mainly on foot or by bicycle. The aim is to reduce car use by setting up a car-sharing service and improving soft routes, particularly cycle routes. The rugged terrain of Rosemaria, characterized by numerous retaining walls, becomes a project opportunity. The wall, formerly an obstacle, becomes a support for programs, terraces, trellised walls allowing urban agriculture or climbing games for children.
The presence of vegetation is reinforced on the site in continuity with the Montfrugy wood initiating an inhabited forest. Ergerset. Explore. Climate, time and resilience. The last phase of the project prefigures the long time of geographical and territorial transformation. The natural dynamics take over the urban space. The asphalt ground of the riverbanks is gradually deconstructed right into the heart of the city. The banks of the Ode become a riparian landscape. The natural movements of the water due to the rainfall and tidal range are made more perceptible. The riverbank becomes permeable and contributes to the resilience of the urban area to flooding and climatic disturbances. The upgrading of the bridges over the Ode, and in particular the Poulguinon Bridge, allows sailing boats to return to Quimper and a new port to be created. Three soft mobility routes have been identified, allowing the territory to be experienced from a different angle. A tourist itinerary along the Ode River allows the rediscovery of the Route du Château and joins the coastal path in Benoté. The existing tow path is signposted as a family walk to discover the biodiversity and landscapes of the foreshore. A sports trail on the heights of Quimper connects Montfrugy to the eastern woods of Quimper and provides early morning runners with great views of the Ode Valley. Finally, daily cycling to work or to the shops is facilitated by the identification of safe routes dedicated to cyclists, which do not conflict with the main roads and bypass the most difficult topographical areas. The Rosemaria district is conceived as the demonstrator of a larger project to improve the quality of life in the Ode Valley. The search for continuity between the river and sea, woodland, architectural and social frameworks is intended to be the prefiguration of an inclusive and resilient urbanism. Together, we are designing living, changing and more livable cities. Dear listeners, thank you for tuning in. Let's meet again next week for a new Kandashi in English. And until then, take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. Thanks to Julien Robourg, sound engineer, who is collaborating with us today. Don't forget to tune in to our previews on Instagram at Comdarchi Podcast. If you enjoy this podcast, don't hesitate to promote it by giving it five stars and a little comment on Apple Podcast or on your favorite podcast platform. And above all, subscribe to listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon. And until then, take care of yourself.